Hello everyone. Have you brushed your teeth and combed your hair? Are you in your pajamas ready for bed? Are the curtains drawn and blankets stuck tight? Are you ready to sleep and say good night? But before you go into your dream ride, here's a story for you tonight. Tonight I get you a very special story. This story is of our favorite Santa Claus. <laughs> yes, you guessed it right. Now that Christmas is round the corner, I'm going to get you special Santa stories from here in. Hmm, so today's story is about Santa Claus when he was a little boy just like you. And you know what? He was a selfish little boy. Yes, you heard it right. Selfish little boy. Let's hear the story. Selfish Elf by Lara Ed and Rosie Greening. Back in the days when Santa was small, he didn't deliver the presents at all. Of course, he was a little boy. I'm sure his mama and papa wouldn't let him go out. So who delivered the presents? Mm, the post elves. That's right. Just the way we get couriers and posts today, those days children would get their presents through post elves. Mm. The post elves would take them on scooters they flew. So they had tiny little scooters. Now elves are really tiny little uh, things, right? So they had even tinier scooter. They would take presents on the scooter and they would deliver it. But that would take a lot of time because they were so tiny and their scooter was tiny. So they could take very few presents at one time. So they had to keep going back to the North Pole, go back, deliver the presents, come back, pick up the presents from the North Pole, then go back again. That used to be a really, really tiring task for them. Oh, they hated the work. It took hours to do. Oh, poor elves. Santa was going to school like the rest. Now at that time, Santa was in school. He was of the class and he aced every test. So Santa was a little boy and he was really clever. He always got very good marks in his tests. But Santa was sadly a big headed elf. He was greedy and mean thinking just of himself. Oh my God, can you imagine that? I can't believe Santa was like that. I love Santa and he was so greedy, so selfish and big headed. You know what is big headed? Not big head. It means somebody who thinks I am better than you and I am far more clever than you. You're very silly. Somebody who thinks very good of himself but bad about the others. That person is a big headed person. It's not nice to be a big headed person. It's very nice to be a big hearted person. Somebody who cares. Now let's see what happens. He invented new toys just for fun every day. When the elves asked to try them, he shouted, no way! Oh, so he was very clever. He invented new new toys every day and they used to be so nice that the elves wanted to play with it. But he would not let them. He wouldn't share. That's not nice, Santa. The teachers despaired for Santa had brains. If only he would use them for good for a change. Now the teachers were also tired of telling him, No Santa, be nice, don't do that. But he just wouldn't listen. And you know where did he keep all his toys? He would keep it in the shed 
behind the school a shed is a place where uh, it is like a cabin uh, behind the building where you know uh, garden tools uh, then sometimes broken furniture sometimes bikes or you know extra things that we cannot keep inside the house or inside the school building are kept over there okay so what did santa do he just made that shed his own shed he would keep all his new toys inside over there and he would keep it locked not nice now one christmas something very terrible happened let's find out one christmas the post elves rushed in full of fear oh my god why are they so fearful what happened <gasps> something very terrible must have happened they said they need students to help us this year oh my god they needed students and they needed their help what did they need help for our gift list is long and we are rushed off our feet what do you mean by rushed off our feet we are so busy so busy that we are running everywhere but we are not able to finish the work We need stamps and addresses and piles that look neat. Now they're saying, you know what? We have we have to make the toys. We have to uh, pack them up. We have to put the address and we have to stack them up properly in piles so that we can deliver all of them on time. Now this time we've not been able to do that. We've not even finished making the toys. Oh God, this is terrible! And Christmas is just round the corner. This is going to be a disaster. But the students are very nice. The students were thrilled to have duties to do. They label the gifts and pile them up too. Now, this, uh, all the students in the school are helping out. See how well they are uh, doing their their job. They are gift wrapping the gifts. They are uh, putting them up properly. They are putting addresses and names on it. Wow! Everybody is going to get their gifts now. But Santa was grumpy. This wasn't his style. Someone like him should invent. not make piles oh santa didn't like uh, doing all the work that the elves had given him the post elves had given him what is he going to do then let's find out so while all his classmates went full steam ahead what do you mean by full steam ahead really got busy busy doing all the work that was supposed to be done to prepare the presents for the children santa snuck off to the workshop instead what is he going to do in the workshop why is he snucking off snuck off meaning quietly move out i know how to prove i am l f statically skilled He rolled up his sleeves then he started to build. Hmm. So what is he going to do? Oh my god, there there are a lot of noises coming from his shed. Scrap scrap scrap. Bang 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 bang. Quack quack quack. Splat. What's going on? What is he making? At last Santa stepped back and saw what he had done. He grinned to himself, thinking, "This will be fun." Hmm. Look at the picture. What does that look like? I think it's very familiar. What do you think it is? Hmm. <gasps> I guessed it. I'm sure some of you have guessed it too. And if you've not, And then on the next page we have a little more clue. Let's read on. One final thing would help Santa succeed. He thought the school stable have just what I need. Hey children, look at the picture very carefully. Through the window you can see the school stable. And who's in the stable? Mm-hmm. 
you guessed it right reindeers now you know what he's made if you still don't know let's see you will be able to see it on the next page soon in the school hall what should appear but santa a sleigh and eight flying reindeers wow santa's made a sleigh a flying sleigh this is so wonderful i'm awesome cried santa and he zoomed through the air forgetting the big pile of gifts that was there oh no 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 santa no not the gifts <gasps> crash went the sleigh and the presents all fell crashing the scooter that stood there as well oh no the boss elf scooter is crashed as well no santa that was very naughty that was not nice you broke all the presents and you broke the scooter too how are the children going to get all the presents now this is the saddest christmas no oh no i'm feeling so sad i'm going to read on let's see what happens in the end oh no cried the post elves today's christmas eve without gifts or scooter how can we leave everyone is upset the all the other elves the post elves everyone is upset and sad santa felt bad as he realized this fact he had just ruined christmas with one selfish act i'm glad santa realized what he's done but this is a really bad thing it is the christmas is ruined all the toys are gone now what's going to happen oh my god but then he remembered the toys in his shed i will deliver them all in my sleigh santa said oh wow this is nice the post elves were thrilled they needed a rest and santa soon found that this job was the best he loved the new places and treats he was fed mm milk and cookies i like them too i'm sure you like them as well but what he loved most was the joy that he spread oh look at the children they're so happy from then on santa gave out gifts every year he stopped being selfish and bought christmas cheers and he soon made a list which he always checks twice to spread what he had learned that it's nice to be nice Mm. I loved this story. I hope you liked it too. Don't forget, it's always nice to be nice. On that note, good night. Sleep tight. Don't get into any pillow fights. 